why I am this unspeakable thing. My memories begin with flashes of mom and dad encouraging me to walk. The day I did, just past one year of age, mom was so excited to show me off that she picked me up and together we went across the street to her aunt's house. And there lived many cats. Great auntie was a cat lady. We had been there before and I was aware that I would see cats as we went through the door. My mother stood me up in front of great auntie and I made a beeline for the cat that was there three feet away. My hand reached out to pet it, but I was aiming for the tail end to run my hand up its back. No, no, great auntie said as she reached for my wrist and brought my hand up to the head. Always pet the way the fur grows. By the time I was six, I had a pretty good handle on things and a feel for the body I had. I actually was so in my skin, I didn't notice it. But that changed one fateful day. My mother, thinking she was protecting me, handed me to someone else to do something that took my health away back in 1963. The day after, I told mom that my bones hurt. She downplayed it and told me not to worry. As the days went by though, the ache did not go away. But I got used to it, only occasionally noticing this issue. The times I pulled a joint a bit awkwardly, I would feel sharp pains. I tried to tell mom a number of times, and she started calling me a hypochondriac. So I learned to endure, not bring it up, and the years went by. In my early 20s, I went to a rheumatologist, the top guy at a major LA hospital. After many a test and many a question, I was told I had an undefined rheumatological condition. Advice? Take work that did not strain my joints. So desk jobs, first in banking, then as a graphic designer, ensued. In 2005, I was struggling to keep pace at my job as editor and graphic designer, needing extended breaks, and went again to a rheumatologist. I guess they finally had a name for what I had, psoriatic arthritis. I do get psoriasis that comes and goes and have all the markers. In my research, I discovered I was not the only one who suffered from the same source in much the same way. Others developed rheumatological issues from being injected with that polio vax. Plenty of us. Of course, that is just one more issue with these things that don't help at all that has been swept under a very heavy carpet. And when I learned that polio is caused by the DDT they were spraying, not any virus, and that they knew this, and still chose to sell the virus to sell vaccines for it, damaging many for life, well, I am an unspeakable thing, an anti-vaxxer, <laughs> and with bloody good reason. May you choose wisely when deciding whether you will have injected whatever it is they want to put in your body. And if they come to force it, I hope you're ready to make a stand. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity Love always Humanity will win